Hello everyone, this is Champion 2D Rob. Um, yeah, that time again, that time for another pickups vid. Um, not a whole lot of stuff, but some good stuff here. I've got uh, some DVDs, Blu-rays, as well as a few games. Uh, yeah, I thought today I'd, for this video, I'd, I'd, I'd mix it up. Because um, it's not really enough, I'd say, for a dedicated video of either. But, uh, yeah, yeah, got some good stuff here. Um, I think I will start with the films. Um, there was actually a couple of Blu-rays that I forgot to include in my last uh, Blu-ray pickup video. There was actually uh, three uh, Blu-rays I forgot to include. So I thought I'd just chuck them in here. Uh, the first one was um, uh, Trainwreck. Uh, I picked this up from CEX ages ago, months ago. And uh, I picked it up for real cheap. I think it was like two pounds or something. And it was just one of those comedies I've been wanting to see for a long, long time. Um, I think it was directed by Judd Apatow. It was from, um, it was definitely from the same people that did Forty Year Old Virgin and uh, Knocked Up. And uh, that's actually two of my sort of favourite comedies. I love watching those films. So I, I, I'd heard some good things about Train Wrecked. So I thought I'd give it a watch, and personally, it was okay. Um, I I felt it was way too long for what it is. I swear this film's like two hours, and it's just way too long for what it is. But it's okay. Um, the main actress in it, Amy Schumer, um, she's okay. I mean, I, I personally, I don't find her as funny. Um, but uh, I thought the film was okay. <laughs> That's basically it. Uh, it, it, it. It didn't. It had its moments. I did laugh in parts. Uh, I think John Cena, the wrestler, he 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 appears in this film, and I, I thought he was quite funny. Uh, but ultimately, this film was just just okay. Uh, next film I got here. This is actually a very nostalgic film for me. I had to pick this up when I saw it was getting a uh, Blu-ray release. And that is uh, The Return of Swamp Thing. Now, I had this film on VHS back in the day, and I used to watch this film so much. Now, going back to it now, I actually hadn't seen it since, since I was a kid, and uh, going back to it now, um, it's, it's, it's still a fun sort of B-movie, very sort of, um, I'm not going to say campy, but it's, it's, it's quite light, and uh, it's an easy watch. And it's still a lot of fun, but uh, it, it's not great. Uh, it, it definitely doesn't hold up to uh, sort of modern uh, superhero movies. Although I will say that the special effects, the, the costume, the makeup on Swamp Thing himself still looks good, I think. I think this looks really good, really detailed. And um, as a sequel to Wes Craven's original um, Swamp Thing... In some ways, I always preferred this film to the to the original Swamp Thing, but I think I think what let the original film down was just a lack of budget. Um, but the, the the original film was more of a sort of straight up horror action movie, whereas this is more of a action comedy movie. Uh, but it's not it's it's goofy in places, but it's not slapstick. It's actually it it it's got a decent set of um, I think I think where this film really holds up is. It's mostly in its creature makeup. The makeup effects are really good in this, and but the story itself is it's light and breezy. It, it, it's a it's a fun watch, and um, yeah, I got a lot of good memories from what from uh, seeing this again. I'm glad it got a Blu-ray release because I was holding out. I almost picked up the DVD a while back uh, because I just been feeling to watch this film again, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I mean, if you like that sort of 80s cheese. It's definitely worth a watch. And the last... Uh, is it the last Blu-ray? No, it is the last. No, it's not. It's the last of the uh, old Blu-ray, shall I say. The old uh, lot that I bought. Was the uh, Tremors Anthology. And... Um, yeah, I picked this up because I saw it for a very good deal. This has basically got five movies. Uh, the first Tremors film, for me, is one of my all-time favourite movies. I absolutely love the first Tremors film. Um, the one with uh, Kevin Bacon, just a fantastic movie. Every time it's on TV, I always watch it. It's, it's just a fantastic film. I love it to death. Uh, in terms of the sequels, uh, they're not they're not good. 
But so uh, they're fun watches. They're all they're all very B movie uh, films. And I actually hadn't seen the fifth one. I, I believe the fifth one came out last year, I think. And I hadn't seen it, so uh, it just basically gave me the excuse to, to, to watch the movie. And it actually wasn't that bad. I thought the fifth one was, was actually pretty enjoyable. Um, the, the, the second movie, is okay. I actually thought it was alright. The third, not so much. And I actually haven't seen the fourth. I haven't gotten around to seeing the fourth one yet. But, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, it's fun to have. I, I think if you can get the, the whole collection... Um, it's worth picking up. It, it's not that much more than just getting the first film, but really, the first movie is where it's at. It's a fantastic film. I, 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 for me, it's a personal classic. I, lo I love the first Tremors film. Um, but yeah, it was just nice to get this as well. So, the uh, last two um, uh, sort of movie pickups, should I say? Uh, these were actually uh, one was a CEX pickup. Another one was bought on online on Amazon, and uh, these were bought actually uh, last week. And uh, the first film I've been meaning to get this film for a while. I actually really do enjoy this film. It's a comedy, and uh, the only thing was I was holding out uh, to see if I can get it for like a really sort of cheap price, and uh, I did. And uh, what I picked up was uh, uh, this is the end, and I got it for two pound fifty, so very cheap. Uh, I've I've actually really enjoyed this film. Um, you know, I mean, you've got you've got Seth Rogen, you've got um, what's his name, uh, James Franco, Jonah Hill, all those usual sort of comedic guys, and it's basically an end of the world apocalypse story. It's really funny. I I really did enjoy this film, um, so uh, I wanted to pick it up at some point. So I was glad I was able to pick it up for such a cheap price. So that was a CEX pickup from last week. And uh, here's a nostalgic, a very nostalgic pickup for me. Now, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, then you know that I do like to pick up uh, old school 80s cartoons. Basically all my childhood cartoons, sort of the 80s and 90s. So, this is one I've been meaning to get, just basically just taking a time to get around to picking it up. And what I got was uh, The Defenders of the Earth, the complete series, and... Um, yeah, I got so many good memories of this show when I was a kid growing up. The theme tune alone was fantastic. I mean, essentially what it was, it was sort of like an Avengers of a lot of the old uh, pulpy characters. So you've got like Flash Gordon, uh, you've got Mandrake the Magician, as well as um, the Phantom. And I really, I really loved this show back in the day. Um, used to watch it all of the time when I used to be at my friend's house after school uh, uh, basically when I was a kid and my mum used to work really late so I used to always go to my friend's house after school and then we'd watch sort of you know the the afternoon lineup of cartoons and uh, Defenders of the Earth was always one of the cartoons we used to watch and we used to love the cartoons fantastic and I have to say out of all the uh, iterations of the Phantom that are out there in the media this is by far my favourite um, I've, I've, I've always measured up the Phantom film um, and all the other shows to this version of the Phantom, fantastic, loved it. Uh, I think most of you that grew up in the uh, 80s and early 90s will probably be aware of Defenders of the Earth. Um, to be fair, it's one of those shows I have watched like the odd episode in recent years, and uh, to, to be honest, like like a lot of these shows, um, they don't really hold up story-wise, but. Uh, I couldn't say no to adding this to the collection. How could I not? I mean, I've got a lot of the old, old shows, uh, in my in my collection already. So I definitely wanted to add Defenders of the Earth. So uh, yeah, it was, it was all right. I picked it up for it was brand new sealed uh, for twenty quid, and it says this is the complete series. So I think it's sixty five episodes, sixty five episodes across seven discs. So for twenty quid, I think that's a decent price for it. So it's just, uh, nice to have. Okay, so moving on to the games. Uh, I've got a few games here, not that many. I think I will start with the some uh, PlayStation 4 titles. I only have two here. Just two games. And uh, they're really good games. Really chuffed to, to get. The first one I got was um, Horizon Zero Dawn. This is actually what I'm currently playing at the moment. I'm really taking my time with it, actually. Um, I'm not... 
I actually haven't played it in a while, but but I haven't really been gaming in a while uh, in general. I've only, but if, when I have been gaming, it's just been on this, and I'm um, really, really taking my time with it. Uh, I'm about maybe six hours into it now. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty far into it. Um, I've spent a significant time, but what I've not been doing is really just sort of uh, been stuck on the TV uh, playing video games. But uh, when I have been, I've really been putting the hours into this. I really need to go back to it as well, actually. Uh, it's a fun game. I, I do find it very enjoyable, although it is very slow. It's, it's a very slow game. Um, the story really does sort of take its time to get going. And there's a lot of side quests. It's basically an open world sandbox sort of title. Um, it's really nice to look at. Um, but the game is very slow, so I don't know if that will appeal to a lot of people. I, I have seen some people sort of criticise the game, just saying it's kind of boring, there's not much going on. I, I, I don't necessarily... I disagree. There is there is a lot going on in the game. It's just that it, it just takes a long time to get going. So I think for those of you that don't really have the patience, uh, this game is probably not going to be for you. Um, but it is fun. I do enjoy it. It can be tricky at times, but it's not impossible. You you can you can work through it. It's it's it's, it's definitely fun to play through. But I think, like I say, it's the story. I think it just takes a long time to get going. Um, I think I've done like a lot of side missions and stuff. Uh, just really been exploring the world. Uh, even though I have been trying to focus on the story itself to try and progress more. Uh, I have been doing a lot of the side missions, which I suppose is what's taking up most of my time. So I'm probably not even that far into the story of of itself because I've been doing a lot of the side missions. But uh, it's still a fun game, though. So I think if you if you if you're patient with it, uh, I think you'll definitely be pleasantly surprised. If not, probably a game you could you could skip out on. And the next PS4 title I had to pick this up when it was announced, and that was uh, Wipeout: The Omega Collection. Uh, this is fantastic. Um, definitely lives up to what I was expecting from it. It's basically, a, uh, I believe it's a remix of uh, Wipeout, uh, what was it, 2048 and uh, Wipeout HD Furies. It's basically got all the tracks of those games. I, I think it also has the tracks of the very first Wipeout game as well. Uh, I, I'm not too sure. I haven't put too much time into it, but I have played it. It's so much fun though. It definitely uh, lives up to... I thought the first time I played Wipeout way back in the PlayStation 1 era. In fact, Wipeout, the original Wipeout game, was actually the very first game I bought for the PlayStation 1. Um, it was one of the games that definitely swayed me onto PlayStation. So um, I had to pick this up, and it's so much fun. It really is. The graphics are amazing. Uh, the gameplay is as solid, solid as ever. It's fantastic. It's definitely um, uh, worth picking up, especially if you're a fan of the previous titles. Okay, so moving on, we've got a 3DS game here, just something, just one game, uh, one I've been meaning to pick up, and uh, yeah, so I thought I'd, I'd jump on it now, and that was uh, uh, Project X Zone 2, uh, this is basically the sequel, it's a strategy RPG, it's essentially a collaboration of Cap Capcom and Namco, so you've essentially got all these, uh, uh, all the Capcom characters, you've got Dante in here, uh, uh, you've got characters from Street Fighter, Resident Evil, Darkstalkers, Star Gladiator, Captain Commando. Oh, it's actually a um, it's actually a three-way collaboration. So you, it's not just Namco and Capcom; it's Sega as well. And uh, what's actually interesting here is you've got characters from um, Streets of Rage. You've got characters from Streets of Rage in this game. It's 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 a strategy RPG. In case you're wondering, it's a it's a grid-based strategy RPG. Uh, very much in the vein of like a Fire Emblem, those sort of titles. It doesn't really have the depth of a Fire Emblem game. It's 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 definitely a lot more of a shallow experience, but it's 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 very much in that sort of vein of tactical RPG. Um, I mean, I, I personally like it more of the novelty factor of just seeing all these all these characters from all these franchises that I've enjoyed growing up. So that that for me is where the appeal lies. So I thought I'd pick it up actually just before it decided to jump in price for any reason. But it's still relatively cheap uh, for a 3DS game and I did pick this up uh, brand new and sealed. Okay, moving on. I have, let's see, what should I do next? I think I will do, 
Um, I'll do some Wii games. I actually haven't bought much in the way of Wii in a long time, and I think it's because I've been pretty happy with the with the games that I did get. I did have a list when I initially started picking up for the Wii. Uh, essentially, a while back, um, uh, a YouTuber, Cajones uh, Deloro, he gifted me a Wii console. Now, I, I, I we it was technically a trade, but I will call it a gift because you know it was. I, I didn't necessarily uh, I know what I was getting he just wanted to send me something because I was going to uh, basically uh, trade with him a game that I picked up um, uh, but he, he, he sort of wanted to surprise me and it wound up being a Wii console boxed and complete it was in fantastic Nick I was I was pleasantly I was pleasantly surprised to say the least but after I picked up after I got the console uh, it, it made me want to go out and pick up a lot of the games now I've already done a video uh, showcasing that collection so if you want to have a look guys the video is in on the channel so you can check out see all games I got but I decided to add add some games to it there was one game uh, that I've been meaning to get for a very long time was just trying to find it and uh, I've been sort of back and forth on whether I wanted to pick it up and uh, these two titles I picked up because they one of them was initially on my list but then I took it off uh, but then when I saw it for a really cheap price, I mean, I just couldn't say no to it. So anyway, the first two games I picked up, uh, these were CEX pickups. They were just uh, impulse buys, basically, because they were really, really cheap. But they were games that I, I wanted to check out anyway. But, um, you know, I wasn't going to go out of my way to get them. But at this price, you just can't say no. Uh, the first one I picked up was uh, uh, Trauma Center uh, Second Opinion. And I actually have the first trauma, one of the one of the trauma center games on the DS, and it's actually a really fun game. It's basically like a a surgery uh, simulation type of game. It's really fun. It's it's very edge of your seat uh, when you get into it. But uh, so it was, I thought it was, a, it was this was definitely worth picking up, especially at the price that I got this for. I thought it was a great price, and it's in fantastic condition. It's really it's really nice, Nick. And what I paid was uh, uh, 50p. So 50p for, for this game and it's complete and fantastic condition. I'm not going to say no to that. And the next game I picked up from CEX. Again, this was just cheap as chips. And it's a game that initially was on my list. I took it off my list. Uh, but for this price, I can't say no to getting it. And uh, that was Mad World. And I picked it up for £1. So, and again, it's in lovely condition. It's fully complete. And uh, yeah, lovely condition. Um, definitely game I, I want give to give, give a try. So uh, yeah, I thought that was a nice addition to get as well. And the last game I got for the Wii. And this is one that, like I said, I've been going back and forth on whether I want to pick this up. I wanted to get it for the collection because I'm a massive fan of this, this series. Uh, but this game doesn't really correspond to the rest of the games in the series. It's basically its own game. But I've been mean to pick it up. Uh, it's a fighting game. Uh, but I, I was definitely unsure about getting it. But after playing it, it it's quite fun. Uh, it's it's not great. But but uh, I, think it, it's, it, I think for me it's worth owning anyway. And that is uh, Castlevania Judgment. And I picked this, picked this up on eBay. And it's in mint condition. It's in... It's in, it's in fantastic nick and it's a very interesting game it's basically it's, it's like a 3d arena based fighting game you can choose from characters from the series and uh yeah it's cool you've got the you've got the the the, the typical castlevania music in the game so it does feel like castlevania although i i'm not too crazy about the character designs I mean, the guy here you've got on the front, that's supposed to be Simon Belmont. Um, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not too crazy about the, uh, some of the character designs, but it is cool that you've got all these characters from various Castlevania games, and um, it, it's a fun play, and I think for me, as someone who's like a massive fan of Castlevania, it's definitely a nice addition to the collection. Although I will say, I mean, if you're going to if you're gonna jump into the Castlevania series, this is definitely not one to start on. And uh, unless you're just a fan of of the of the of the platform action game side scrollers, 
and that's it, then you can probably give this one a miss. But uh, I do enjoy it. I thought it was a fun title. And uh, yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's an interesting uh, experiment. But it's not a great fighter. I mean, it's not. A, I mean, there are way better um, 3D fighters out there. Uh, if, if if 3D fighters are your bag. Although I've got to say though, wouldn't it be great to see like a 2D uh, Castlevania fighting game, uh, maybe made by Arc System Works? That'd be amazing. I would I would give a lot for that game, uh, just to see 2D hand drawn sprites, seeing all the Castlevania characters. That would be amazing. But, uh, you know, in any case, it's, it's, it's nice to finally have. And it's definitely one, um, you know, that, 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 I, that I wanted to add, uh, even if I did sort of go back and forth on it, you know. But, yeah, it's nice to have. I, li I like having it. And uh, it's, it's in lovely condition, too, so can't complain. Uh, next game I've got here, this is for the Cube, the Game Cube. Now, this is one title uh, that I've been meaning to get. I have been picking up Cube games uh, recently. So this is basically one that sort of complete the collection. I think most of you can guess what one it is. And that's uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. This now basically completes uh, the Resident Evil games on the GameCube. I now have them all. And I already have this game on the PlayStation 2. So for me this one was a bit of a, 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 a big pill to swallow. Because this is not a cheap game on the Cube. It's a cheap game on PlayStation 2, but it's not a cheap game on the Cube. But I had to have the entire set on the Cube because it really is... Um, if you're going to get sort of the, all the old school games, it really is the best uh, system to have it on. So, yeah, definitely a chuff to get it. And um, I played a bit of it. It's, it's, it's great. I, have, I actually have never really put a lot of time into uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica. I've mostly played the, the older ones, so... It's definitely a good excuse to sort of plough through each title and, uh, yeah, give it a shot. So I'm really chuffed to get that. And the last two I got, uh, this is, um, well, one of them was actually a gift, uh, again, from another YouTuber. So really nice to have, actually. A uh, really cool game. And that is uh, uh, Column's Crown. Uh, essentially, this is just Columns, basically. And I, I actually got this game pretty much. This was given to me by uh, Pete, uh, YouTuber Pete on a retro tip. Uh, essentially, we we met up. We, there was there, there was like a, a sort of YouTuber uh, meetup that happened a few weeks ago. Uh, I went over to Alex uh, Nintendo Arcade's house. He invited a few of us over, and it was great to see him as well. Uh, Tootie was there as well as a few other YouTubers I'd never actually met before, and a few other people who I'd sort of met at conventions, um, but never, wasn't even aware that they, they all knew each other, so it was, it was cool to sort of see all these people. And, uh, of course, uh, Pete on a retro tip was there. So uh, he basically brought some games down. Now, essentially, I will call this a gift, even though, you know, it, basically it was a very cheap game. I was buying it off him, but uh, it, it basically goes for nothing really so so um i owe him a beer essentially that's basically what it come down to I, I owe him a beer for this but it's it was in i thought it was in really nice condition it is complete and uh yeah just just another game to add into the collection and the last uh game boy advance game i picked up in fact i'm going to take this one out of the box protector just so you guys can have a better look at it uh Okay, yeah, so this is a game I've been after for a, such a long time. Um, now, most of you that have seen uh, a certain um, uh, certain pickup video from CEX, uh, opening package video, then you pretty much can guess what, what game it was, as the video was quite infamous for my, for my reaction in terms of the condition that I initially got this game. So I've been after I've been after this title for a long time, and I'm finally glad I was able to bag a, a copy for a decent price as well, and in really good condition. It took a while, actually, because um, there were a few online, but they were they were not in great condition at all. Uh, they were in pretty pretty crappy condition, especially given the price. There was actually a sealed copy, and it's still on there online actually. But um, uh, I, I think the the guy 
is overpriced it. Um, I, I, I gave him a sensible offer, but he wasn't really willing to move to budge. I mean, he, he did. He, he was willing to drop the price, but not not enough to my liking. So I, I decided to pass on it and uh, just be be more patient. But eventually, one came up, and it was in it was in good condition. Uh, the initial photos that the seller had uh, weren't really enough to convince me, so I basically messaged the seller and asked him to post, if he could post up some some more pictures, and he was more than happy to do that. And once he did, I basically I uh, clicked the buy it now button, bought it straight away. It was really good, Nick, and uh, I'm chuffed to get it. And that is um, Advance Wars Two uh, Black Hole Rising. So really, really happy to finally get this. As I'm a huge fan of Advance Wars, the original one on the Game Boy Advance, and this has been one I've been meaning to get for a long time. I, I should have picked it up years ago, back when it was very cheap. Uh, but it's since gone up. It's not too expensive. I mean, you can pretty much have this game for less than less than thirty pounds. Um, I got it for a really good price actually. It was uh, I was really lucky to get it, and it's in it's in decent condition. It's not perfect, but it is in it's in decent nick. I'll show you the back. Yeah, so it's in solid condition. I was really happy to get it. This was definitely very high on my list. So uh, I'm just really really chuffed to finally get it off the list and into my collection so yeah I, I do like I say very much enjoy the the Advance Wars games it was actually the Advance Wars titles that got me onto Fire Emblem that's that's basically how it was um, they're, they're just so much fun they're very colorful great strategy RPGs if you like tactical RPGs it's definitely definitely uh, worth uh, taking a look at the Advance Wars series so that's it guys, that's basically been my pickups for the last uh, month and a bit. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, please let me know in the comments below uh, what you thought. And uh, yeah, so I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.